This is the most expensive crash test dummy in the world. It costs as much as four Lamborghini Huracans, is very high tech, and is more human-like than you'd imagine. It's also tough, and it can take a hit again, and again, and again. Here's why just one of them costs a million dollars. Welcome to Explain. Car crashes have increased dramatically over the years. All of Los Angeles, and now... In fact, the average number of passenger car crashes in the US is over 6 million per year. That's like 18,500 car accidents every day. Car safety features are being constantly updated, but for car makers to make safer features, they need to know the kind of impact that crashes have on different parts of the body. That's where crash test dummies, also called anthropomorphic test devices, or ATDs, come in. They're put through some really brutal crashes, and they cost a fortune. Chris O'Connor from Humanetics tells us why each dummy can cost up to $1 million. It's interesting because the price sounds like a lot, like it could be up to a million dollars, but quite frankly, these crash test dummies can last for 25 and 30 years and they're extremely complex. So hundreds of sensors make them anatomically resembling a human being. So a million dollar dummy actually only comes out to a few cents, a few pennies actually on each vehicle. Let's take a look at the most advanced and expensive ones. First, there's the World SID. This high-tech dummy is worth over $400,000. It's designed to mirror our body's response inside a vehicle during a side impact. It's got more than 200 electronic sensors that give out digital readings, and it assesses the level of injuries to different parts of our body with and without safety features like side airbags and seat belts. So a side impact dummy is, is different than a frontal dummy or a rear impact dummy. The features in the side impact or the world SID dummy is to represent a side impact crash. You have particular head injuries and neck injuries that you would experience and we're trying to have sensors in those areas to protect people in a side impact crash. Next is the most advanced of them all, Thor. This frontal impact dummy costs anywhere between $500,000 to $1 million. It takes about five months to build, has more than 30,000 parts, and is fitted with sensors for 150 data points. Thor is a lot more biofidelic, meaning its bodily movements during a crash are a lot more human-like than older dummies. Thor weighs 76.6 kilos and is around 5 foot 9 inches. Its body is made of different metals, rubber, foam, and plastics. On the inside, it's filled with a large network of sensors, and this provides data on which body parts suffer serious injuries and which have just bumps and bruises. What makes Thor so expensive is the digital acquisition system that records data in microseconds, and it eliminates the large cables attached to older dummies. Besides physical ATDs, Digital simulations of dummies allow researchers to simulate people in different sizes, so researchers and developers have more information on how cars can be designed with better safety features. While the Thor 50M represents the average male, the Thor 5th represents females. But this isn't just a scaled-down version of the male one. The Thor 5th is especially designed to represent women more accurately. So why do we need separate female dummies? It's because of the differences in height, bone density, muscle structure, and fat distribution. Also, women tend to drive closer to the steering wheel, so when they get in a crash, their frontal injuries tend to be more severe. So there's more injuries on the foot and on the lower legs. There's also abdomen injuries, so we have sensors in the abdomen. And these are all unique sensors that are designed for a female crash test dummy that make it different than a male crash test dummy. With physiological differences being so important, Humanetics have also created crash test dummies for children of different age groups and for vulnerable adults like those who are elderly or overweight. Pedestrian ATDs also exist. 
These provide information on how the front shape of a car and hood increases or reduces injury in a pedestrian or motorcycle accident. The dummies are mounted on moving platforms and bikes and are rolled out in front of vehicles. On impact, the sensors provide information on how the body reacts to a collision. They also make sure the pedestrian avoidance system in modern cars work. So here's an interesting fact. Crash test dummies were originally created years ago for the aerospace industry. And aerospace ATDs are still used for testing aircraft today. At NASA, engineers put aircraft through what they call severe but survivable crashes from heights as high as 80 feet. A souped-up FAA Hybrid 3 or Hybrid 2 dummy is used in the space capsule or aircraft, and they're usually a mix of different body types. We have seen uh, complete airplanes drop down for testing where we have hundreds of uh, uh, ATDs or crash test dummies in those. Uh, we've seen them on roller coaster rides are quite advanced. They're actually been used up in space. So if you look at some of the launches that have been done, our crash test dummies have been used. During the test, they usually drop a section of the aircraft straight down or swing a small plane into the ground. They even crash helicopters. And when they test space capsules, they drop them in deep pools of water to mimic water landings. The cameras on board capture the points of impact and the sensors in the dummies measure the extent of injury on the human body. It even tests the effectiveness of ejection seat restraints and parachutes. Finally, we have the military ATDs. These dummies are called Warrior Injury Assessment Mannequins. The Hybrid 3 dummy is typically used and the tests are absolutely brutal. These dummies are placed in military vehicles that are driven over explosive devices. This lets them measure the effectiveness of vehicle armor against ballistic impact. The biggest challenge is how these dummies are built. Like we said, to provide accurate data for impact and injury, they have to be as human as possible. But at the same time, they're costly, so they have to be durable enough to survive hundreds of crashes. Every dummy is made to exact specifications. The outer molding is made to represent our flesh, and each body part is trimmed and finished by hand. Underneath the flesh-like exterior is a metal skeleton with load cells for data gathering. And these can take the shape of parts like a backbone, a pelvis, and rib cage. Dummies also have to be certified before being used in an actual crash test. They literally test each part that's made and this is done to make sure the parts are not too soft or too hard. With cars becoming driverless and future car designs becoming even more sophisticated, these super advanced crash test dummies have the potential to save millions of lives. You know, the crash test dummy is ready for a flying car because the reality is it really started in aviation. We may have to look at if any injuries are different and maybe design sensors in a different place but the crash test dummy is, is ready for a flying car. But here's the shocker. Not every car manufacturer uses the new Thor dummy. Many are still using the previous models designed in the 1970s. And this is partly because of how costly it is. While the transport regulator in Europe has made it mandatory for car makers to test with the latest Thor dummies, the US transport regulator hasn't. What are your thoughts about the latest crash test dummies? Tell us about them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Explained.